Hello and welcome to Minnesota Thunder Academy's 2021-2022 season. I'm Maureen Brick, Executive Director of MTA. MTA's core values are integrity, determination, unity, and excellence. Our values are what guide our daily actions, our organization, and they define interactions between all members of our club. The foundation of MTA is our great coaches. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to Danny Storleen, our girls director, Mark Yule, our boys director and boys juniors director, and Tommy Savangse, girls juniors director. Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Yule. I'm the boys coaching director and the boys juniors coaching director. MTA has a proven development path for all players dedicated to soccer, starting with our Thunderbolts program for six, seven, and eight-year-olds, through our Juniors Academy, which is U9 through U12, and on up through Boys and Girls Minnesota NPL and the Boys and Girls ECNL. This year, we've launched our first Minnesota Premier Women's Premier Soccer League, currently in first place with a roster of mainly former MTA players. MTA is all in with U.S. Club Soccer. U.S. Club Soccer is a tiered development environment, starting locally, going regionally, and nationally. The Elite Club National League, or ECNL, being the top, Minnesota NPL, the National Premier League, is next, and TCSL, the Twin City Soccer League, on the local level. Hi, everyone. Tommy Savangs here, Girls Junior Director. Our developmental path starts at the youngest ages in our Thunderbolts development program. The program is for our U7 to U8 players, which will be the 2014-2015 birth year. Our ultimate goal is to challenge and inspire our youngest players in the year-round program. They will go two times a week in the fall on Sunday and Thursdays, one time a week in the winter on Sundays, and in the summer, they'll go two times a week on Sunday and Tuesdays. The focus will be on individual technical skills, maximizing their touches, and building confident players to be, prepare them for our Junior Academy program. The next step is our Junior Academy program, where the focus is on technical development, game awareness, maximizing individual potential, and as well as collective team development goals. This will be for our eight to 12 year olds consisting of four age groups for the coming season. Our U9, U10, which is the 2013, 2012 age group will play in the TCSL Red White League as in the fall and the, the summer. And in the winter, they will have three to four winter fests hosted by TCSL, along with a winter development technical focus training with Tommy Salong say on top of their normal training session. The U11 group, it will be a pre ECNL group that will play to TCSL National. Um, in the spring and summer, they will play up to U12 and play 99. They will have three to four tournaments and some will be required to travel out of town. The U12 2010 pre ECNL group will play up to U13 11 v 11 in, in, in the, for the fall, winter and summer. They will also have three to four tournaments, uh, one being, and they will, they will also be required to travel out of town. This, for the, for the, this year with the two older teams in the age group, they will be considered pre-ECNL teams and they will be playing pre-ECNL games versus other Midwest, Midwest ECNL clubs. I'm very excited to announce the coaches for the 2021-2022 season. The 2013 Nike team will be coached by Lauren Witte. 2012 Nike team will be coached by Tim Knotts. 2011 pre ECNL team will be Steph Jacobson and Tommy Spongsay. 2010 pre ECNL team will be Tommy Spongsay. And the 2010 swoosh team will be so far. Please visit the website if you want to view any more information on our coaches. In our boys juniors program for eight through 12 year olds, the focus will be on technical development, game awareness, and maximizing individual potential for all players in the program. Our U9 and 10s will participate in the fall and summer TCSL Red and White League. They'll have three to four winter fests, the NSC Fall Cup, play in two to three local tournaments. They'll also have some additional futsal. Our U11 team will also participate in the TCSL National League, two to three local tournaments. They will participate in the Minnesota Cup. Winter League is also possible for them and they too will have some additional futsal. The 2012, which is pre-ECNL, will participate in the TCSL National League, which will include potentially playoffs, have three to four tournaments, one of which will be out of town. 
They'll also participate in one to two 11 v 11 local tournaments, participate in the Winter League, the Minnesota Cup, and they too will have some additional futsal. I'd like to announce our coaches for the upcoming season. Our 2013 Nike team will be coached by Isaac Pay. Our 2012 Nike team by Max Loam. Our 2011 Nike team by Isaac Pay. And I will coach the 2010 pre-ECNL team. Terry Leindecker will also be our goalkeeper coach. Hi, my name is Danny Storlene. I'm the girls coaching director at MTA. MTA will have U13 through U19 girls and boys teams competing in the TCSL Minnesota National Premier League. The Minnesota MPL is a national competition platform created to elevate and change the competitive youth soccer landscape through development, meaningful competition, identification platforms, finishing with the NPL final. This league shares our MTA vision and provides excellent growth and development opportunities for our players. This league will extend the development principles promoted by U.S. soccer into more age groups and clubs, link competition with player development and identification platforms, provide meaningful lead competition. Teams will play 14 to 20 games September through June for U13 and U14, or November through June for U15 and up. TCSL will provide a college recruiting platform, ID camps and college showcase events for our U15 and older age groups on top of the college events that MTA already hosts for these teams. Most MTA NPL teams won their league this year. The ones that didn't win came in second. All six MTA teams qualified for MPL finals and or national cup. I'm excited to announce the MTA Minnesota MPL coaches for the 2021 2022 season. Tim Knotts will be the 2009 NPL coach. Joe Hartwell will be the 08 NPL coach. Megan Schobro will be the 07 NPL coach. Joe Hartwell will be the 06 NPL coach. Steph Jacobson will be the 05 NPL coach. Toby Thorso will be the 03 04 NPL coach. This year, the boys will again compete in the Minnesota National Premier League at most age groups. I am proud to announce our coaches for the NP NPL teams for Minnesota Thunder Academy. Randall Mateo will be the 2009 NPL coach. Miguel Solorzano, the 2006 NPL coach. And Joe Watt will coach our 2004-2003 NPL team. Terry Leindecker will be the director of the Boys and Girls Goalkeeping. MTA was one of the founding members of the ECNL. I was part of the meetings uh, back in 2009 in Chicago. It is now considered to be the top youth girls league in the world. With the success of the girls league, we added boys ECNL. ECNL players can play high school soccer. ECNL teams compete in the Midwest Conference play with an opportunity to qualify for national playoffs as well as a series of national events. ECNL has the highest level of exposure to college coaches with an average of 450 college coaches at U15 through U19 events, along with United States Youth National Team Scouts. Hundreds of college scouts from schools nationwide attend boys U15 to U19 events and attend ECNL games and showcase events. Professional team and youth national team scouts also attend events throughout the year. Over 345 alums have gone on to play college soccer since 2009, most of them at the Division I level. 11 MTA players have gone on to play for the U.S. Youth National Team. 2018-2019 MTA finished the season ranked number 13 in the country and had the second most points in the Midwest Division of the ECNL. In 2019-2020, MTA qualified four of six teams for the ECNL Champions League playoffs and had three teams ranked in the top 10 before the COVID shutdown. 2020-2021 girls have four teams that have qualified for the playoffs. MTA girls play in the ECNL Midwest Conference with 14 clubs spanning eight states. Here are the list of the clubs that are in the MTA uh, division of the ECNL. We've had many MTA players rise to the professional ranks over the years. I've had the good fortune to coach seven of these outstanding young men. Many of these players have also been involved in our U.S. Youth National Team program, and one of them now has 12 caps with our full men's national team. The MTA boys have more professional and national team players than all other Minnesota clubs combined. We've chosen ECNL as our platform to continue that progression for our players. 
The boys ECNL offers an unrivaled opportunity for players to perform in front of college coaches, professional scouts, and an incredible atmosphere at some of the nation's finest facilities. Hundreds of college scouts from schools of all levels nationwide will attend ECNL games and showcase events. Professional team and youth national team scouts also attend these events throughout the year. The MTA boys play in the ECNL Midwest Conference, which is seven clubs spanning four states. Eclipse in Rockford out of Illinois, Indiana Elite and FC Pride out of Indiana, and FC Wisconsin out of Milwaukee. Joining our, our conference this year is St. Croix. Hi, Danny Storlane again here. Uh, I am very proud and excited to announce our 2021-22 ECNL coaches. The 09 ECNL coach will be Mark Abood. The 08 ECNL coach will be Megan Schobro. The 07 ECNL coach will be Dave Alberti. The 06 ECNL coach will be Danny Storlane. The 05 ECNL coach will be Danny Storlane. And the 0304 ECNL coach will be Dave Alberti. Once again, Terry Leindecker will be our director of goalkeeping. I'm very proud and excited to announce our group of ECNL coaches for the upcoming season. All are highly qualified licensed coaches. Our 2009 ECNL team will be coached by Joe Watt. Mark Yola will coach the 2008s. Steve Bellis will coach the 2007 ECNL team. Dushan Yakitsa will coach the 2006 ECNL team. Mark Yule will coach the 2005s. And Dushan Yakitsa will coach the 2004-2003 ECNL team. Terry Leindecker will be our boys and girls goalkeeping director at the ECNL level also. The big question is why play for MTA? And I say this all the time. If you work hard enough in training, you get to play the games. If you follow social media, and the ECNL in particular, you will see that they have similar goals and core values that extend beyond the field like we do here at, at MTA. A better player, a better person, and a better teammate are part of our values. Hi, Danny Storlane here once again. Uh, our tryout schedule for the 2021-22 season uh, is as follows. Uh, you can see the boys ECNL tryout July 11 through 12, the girls ECNL tryout July 13 through 14, the juniors tryouts U9 through U11 July 19 through 20, and the U12 and older M, uh, NPL tryout is July 25th and 26th. We hope you'll join us for our new season. Most ECNL rosters will be formed at the ECNL sessions. Minnesota NPL rosters will be formed and remaining ECNL roster spots will be filled by the tryouts on July 25th and 26th. Your tryout registration fee covers both tryouts so you can attend both without registering again. Our 2021-2022 club calendar. Every season we look forward to the yearly events that go on here at MTA. Here are some of them that we have planned for the upcoming season. All camps and the Thunderfoot training sessions are open to all players from all clubs. What makes MTA unique? This is what makes MTA different than any other club in town. We have an unmatched record for training players to play at the high school, college, professional, and national team level. We have the most exposure to college coaches. More college coaches watch MTA players than any other club in Minnesota. We have a development pathway from six years old uh, in Thunderbolts to adults in the WPSL. Unity of purpose, not experience at community clubs. Players are dedicated, hardworking, supportive, and motivate each other to improve. We participate in the top leagues in the state, the region, and the country, and the TCSL, the NPL, the ECNL, and the WPSL. Our coaching staff that has a proven successful at the national level year after year. And the club was ranked as the 34th club out of 10,000 clubs in U.S. club uh, soccer by Soccer Wire. The final piece of MTA's development pathway is the Women's Premier Soccer League. We are excited to give these young women an opportunity to play beyond their ECNL and NPL uh, years. The WPSL team finished first in the Women's Premier Soccer League in its inaugural season. 
And the team was made up of 24 MTA alum. Uh, Minnesota Thunder girls at Gothia Cup. Uh, every year, MTA takes one or two girls teams to compete in the Gothia World Youth Cup in Sweden, the largest youth tournament in the world with over 1,600 teams from 75 nations attending. Although the tournament has not been held in 2020 or 2021 due to COVID, we're looking forward to returning to Sweden in 2022. MTA has been invited to compete in the Gothia Puma Trophy competition made up of the top U-17 teams attending the tournament. The last time the tournament was held in 2019, MTA played against teams from Spain, Japan, Germany, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, and had the opportunity to play in front of 9,000 fans when we won the championship in 2019 in the under-17 elite flight. MTA has a fantastic partnership with Twin Cities Orthopedic and the Training House, not only for speed, agility, and quickness, but also post-game recovery and injury recovery. In our never-ending pursuit of player development, we have added a leadership academy, nutrition education sessions, and ACL prevention and recovery program, which includes Normatec recovery boots, a VO camera system, and a new club management system. TCO provides athletic trainers at all of our ECNL matches and are at our training sessions weekly. Many of our MTA athletes looking to improve their speed, agility, and quickness work with trainers at the training house year round. Last year, Minnesota Thunder Academy instituted a program with Techni Football. It's an online app for working on individual technique, fitness, goalkeeping, strength, and mental training. Normatec pants. The club has two pair of Normatec pants that we use in post-game recovery. For example, we took the Normatec pants to Florida for the ECNL playoffs where we had to play four games in five or six days, and the players would use these pants for recovery. Uh, we, we travel with them to tournaments, and the players use them in between games or after games, and it assists with uh, enhancing blood flow and speeds the recovery process. I personally have used these. Um, my choice of exercise now that I'm getting more mature in years is running and I use a uh, Normatec pants uh, to help my recovery. And it certainly makes a difference in how you feel the hours after you use them and into the next day to increase your performance. MTA has purchased two high-tech cameras from VO which will be used to videotape select home games for our ECNL elite and NPL teams. The software recognizes the action on the field and follows the ball through the ball using two cameras to get a 180 degree picture of the field. Our players can then create a player profile and build their own highlight clips that they can share with friends, family, and college coaches. The purpose of MTA is not just to develop successful players, but also successful people. We believe that leaders are developed and sports is the perfect vehicle in which to hone these skills in young people. We were fortunate to have four great role models speak to MTA players and families this past winter, the inaugural season of our Leadership Academy. We're putting together a new list of speakers this winter. If you want to play soccer at a higher level, MTA is the place to be. MTA has trained more college players than all other clubs in Minnesota combined. We are approaching 1,000 players that will have left MTA and went on to play college soccer in the next year. 23 players that are playing professional, that have played professional soccer or are playing professional soccer. Six senior and 25 youth national team players. The Gatorade Minnesota Soccer Player of the Year has been an MTA player 15 of the past 20 years. And Mr. and or Miss Soccer has been an MTA player every year for the last 20 years. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view our presentation tonight. And if you have any questions, please reach out to admin at minnesotathunderacademy.org. Thank you and look forward to seeing you on the field.